Get ready for the smackdown Get ready for the smackdown How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown Alright guys, so back again for the last fight for today uh, and after this we'll be down to the final four um, but this fight comes from Frank Miller's evil hat number one and um, he pits the likes of of course the of course Batman he's the pretty much the star of this section uh, versus David Xanatos from Gargoyles. Yeah, so we have Batman versus David Xanatos uh, in this. I like this fight. This is very fun for me. I liked it indeed. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. So we move on to Bruce's combatant in this. Uh, and of course, everybody, David Xanatos. Now, what do we know about David Xanatos? I, I think I think amongst my generation and the generation that came after mine, Gargoyles is a treasure that we love till this day. It is a series that each one of us would thank Greg Wiseman for. Period. And the character of David Xanatos was, to me, a mixture of Tony Stark, Lex Luthor, and many other rich socialist type characters mixed into one. But mainly Tony Stark and Lex Luthor, definitely. Xanatos, for the first couple of first, was one of the main um, antagonists of the Gargoyle series. He was the one that helped bring Goliath's clan back to life. And he pretty much, since they were new to the world, he was very much played them like fools. And uh, Xanatos was very manipulative to live, excuse me. Um, he was very much a genius at heart, very much. Uh, he, he used to play, he could play that fiddle so well and get people to think, oh, he's good, but then he can turn around and be that crafty, you know, that crafty fox that you, you know, and then literally he would go on and marry fox. But he was a very good villain, in my opinion. Very good indeed. Um... He was very skilled at martial arts and through cybernetics, you know, cybernetic armors and things like that, he was able to battle Goliath at, at many times, you know, to, in a sense, a standoff or so due to the armor, due to his, his armor, but still he was, he was able to fight Goliath at somewhat on an equal level. So he, he's, he's rich, he's able to handle himself, very intelligent, very manipulative, and uh, he, he's, I would say he's a pretty good strategist as well. Um, he knows how to play the, play the chessboard very well, in, in my example, and we've seen him do that at times. Now, it, he is up there in terms of some of the great uh, Gargo villains like Macbeth and Demona and the pack and people like that, you know, but, uh, he, he, he did have that swagger about him, like, you, you just wanted to see this guy get belittled sometimes, and sometimes you did see that, 
but David Xanatos was a, a force to be reckoned with. Now, in terms of the battle breakdown for this debate, um, I gotta say, this is an interesting fight because both Bruce and Xanatos are billionaires, billionaires. Uh, they're very rich. They have a lot of resources. Um, so this would be very interesting if, if it's B Batman in the, like the bat armor or something and David in his armor going at it. Uh, hand to hand, I would still say Bruce has the upper hand in this. Um, gadget wise, I would say Bruce still kind of has the upper hand in that as well. Um, but I'm not saying that it'd be, it'd be uh, David won't bring his A game as well. But it would be a very good in fight of intelligence, not just brawn, uh, skill. Uh, who makes the first mistake on that that chess piece? You know what I'm saying? Play like a game of chess. It would come down to who's more of a strategic genius in terms of like that. Who would be able to know one another? And this isn't talking about on a first. No, I'm talking straight up right there. So with all of that of my input, guys, I'm saying Batman wins this fight. Yes, Batman. But what about you guys? Batman or David Xanatos and I hope you guys enjoyed this fight show some love and respect to Frank Miller's evil hat number one and I will be back Friday Friday ladies and gentlemen with the final four uh, which will be 41 to 44 and those opponents will be Kai Lin from Mass Effect, Baron Zemo from Marvel Comics, the Black Tarantula from Marvel Comics, and the Gorgon from Marvel Comics. So I will see you. So be there for the final four where we say goodbye and farewell to Batman from my fantasy fights. And he goes into basically, I, I guess, my final fantasy fight hall of fame, <laughs> in a sense. He'd be the first inductee in there. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys then. You guys take care.